Okay, guys, uh, one of the things that uh, I do in World of Tanks always from day one is drive around. Uh, I almost never get caught up in uh, peekaboos and uh, exchanging shots with people. Um, I'd much rather roam opportunistically and see what happens. Uh, you can never tell in advance uh, sometimes that uh, something good will happen, that uh, the the stars will be in alignment in your favor. And uh, I'm going to call these, uh, you know, this is not a wedgie, but it's like a wedgie. It's that same uncomfortable feeling. And uh, if I have an opportunity to get behind somebody who is engaged with other vehicles uh, and shoot them, you know, over and over again from behind, uh, I'll do it. And everybody in a light tank uh, should be aware of this possibility and think about it. And in this case, the unfortunate victim is a T-95. So let's just take a look at that. It's quite interesting. So I'm headed over there, and there's an 8.8 .8 there, but there's there's cover. So I've got my goal. Uh, he just fired at me and missed. So let's start shooting here. Uh, the wedgie begins. And is he going to come over? He's coming. Okay, I've got more cover behind me here. And... There, he's gone. And I did get hit. Uh, HE. He, he didn't uh, land a perfect shot there, so I didn't suffer too much damage. Anyways, that's uh, wedgie number one um, from roaming opportunistically. And let's go on to wedgie number two. Okay, guys, uh, this is uh, wedgie number two. And... Uh, this will be the final one for this video. Uh, I was platooned in this battle with Casey Bay and Metal Storm. And uh, this is 9.17.0.3. So this is January of 2017. Uh, I love the name there, Rumblebee, the Type 59. Uh, if he's still playing, I'll send him a message. Uh, so let's just hit the space bar here, and I'll show you how I set this up. Took a while to figure out. And, but first, we're going to see this MT-25 going at full speed, do some maneuvers, gymnastics, uh, style points, no damage. So uh, I'm headed over to this flank. Uh, again, roaming opportunistically. Uh, Metal Storm is not driving around. Typically, he did the old uh, peekaboos and uh, shot exchanging. Uh... You know, I'll be honest, I think uh, one of the reasons I don't do it is I, I don't think I'd be any good at it. Uh, so, um, now the victim in this case is a good player. Uh, he stopped playing, but I, I'll try to send him a message through the, uh, the forums uh, that way. And uh, it was a, probably a very painful experience for him, but he may not want to relive it, but it was fun for me. So, um, Again, this is, you know, uh, people people criticize me in in battles for doing this, uh, but uh, there there's targets, uh, there's no need for any further lights at this stage, and uh, I'm waiting uh, for the setup here. And, uh, you know, am I being uh, lazy? Well, I, I've done this a huge amount, and... Um, you know, you're going to have to judge whether uh, it's appropriate or not. See, I was I was hoping to get shots over there uh, unsuccessfully. Most of the time, it doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to speed this up here. And uh, unfortunately, Metal Storm, yeah, he's out of the picture. And uh, I'm going to head over there and uh, show you how I did it. And it's, uh, it's so much easier to do this kind of thing uh, as the deaths pile up, right? So I think I'm back at normal speed. Now the Tiger II is alone here, and the Lova. So the question is, where is the SU-100M1? Where is the RU-251? Where is the AMX-12? And I'm approaching this task a little bit gingerly because uh, who knows what's back there and, and uh, you know sometimes it's very difficult to judge. There's a Lova still at full health as a good player uh, that's what you expect often and what you see 
is their ability not to be damaged is, uh, you know, a key to their success. So I'm seeing if there's a sixth sense bulb go off here, right? So far, nothing, nothing. Oh, who saw me? The SC-100M1. Oh, boy. So... Uh, there is an M53 that might do something to me here. And it looks like the 12T is over there. So uh, away we go, and I'll put the fixed camera on for this. Gold rounds, of course, nothing but the best. As Kopik, my friend Kopik, used to say, that was just typical when you could talk to the enemy. Nothing but the best for you. So, he, you know, he can't, he can't turn around and hit me uh, because... Uh, He'll be presenting the back of his turret to those guys, and uh, accel it'll accelerate the damage rate. And nothing has, uh, you know, he he deserves more help. You know, I'll be brutally frank about that. Uh, and the team, you know, we're winning now. So uh, the only sad part here, you know, those misses, and I almost never. Oh, I set him on fire, and then somebody kills the steals the kill. So uh, got a nice comment from the tiger too for something that's. You know, there's very little skill involved here. Uh, let's see the comment. Yeah, M25T, awesome. Well, the only thing is that uh, he was abandoned by his uh, his teammates. You know, fire teams win, uh, scatterers die. And I, I swear to God, I can, you know, I will pass a lie detector test. The first week that I was playing World of Tanks back in uh, April of 2011, I said that in the chat. Fire teams win, scatterers die. And that rule is still in full effect in this game and uh you know if he'd had a group of vehicles with him duking it out there and then you know in another part of the map another group uh the chances of success are greater so uh i think i'll stop it right there we won this game obviously and uh that's wedgie number two that uncomfortable feeling in world of tanks and it's game over and i hope you guys enjoyed the videos